Genesis 6 and verse 5, And the Most High saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. Double honors, the apostles and elders of great millstone, where I learned this truth from. Peace and salutations, their brothers on down, teaching, preaching, pushing this gospel. Good news to four corners of the earth, waking up the hopeful elect of the house of Israel. Greetings also to the few sisters that tune into these video epistles. Very, very windy here up in the hills in Jamaica today. We call a lesson Doomsday Fast Approaches. Got to remember to raise my voice in this lesson. Esau Edom, the so called white man, is doomsday. He's got a doomsday clock. The Most High, whose name is Yahweh, his only begotten son, is Yahweh Shai. This, caused these, this man is counting down his own demise is trying to pass it off as, it, as if it's going to be the same for everyone. No, you're the one who's going to be removed from power. You see? I just wrote down something in my notes here as a moment here. Here's where, where you have in the first minute of a football match. It's not the same like if it's extra time or injury time. How you act changes depending on where you are in this thing it's just not the same and we're really in extra time we're in injury time we're waiting for the referee the umpire to call time on this madness the ultimate judge Yahweh Bahashem means in the name Yahweh Shai that's his only begotten son his name means redeemer deliverer he's our savior and he's the one who's getting ready to come back and remove this brute of a man out of power. But before that shit is really going to hit the fan, let's get some of this. Head straight back to the word here. That's what we like to do. Read the word. All the answers are here. Blessed is he that readeth. And readeth, we read with understanding. Second is just 15. Let's go from 5. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues. Upon the word, we're going to look at one of these plagues of this man. He's plagued in every sense of the word. What man? He's calling himself white, but he's an Edomite. He's Esau Edom in the scripture. We're not going to stop saying it. You can't get away from your true identity. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. But why? For wickedness. We just read about it just prior to the flood coming. Another flood is coming, this time with fire. Wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Therefore, saith the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness. I keep reading this, these last few lessons. Why? Because it's the time we're in. No apologies which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood cry unto me. It's Esau's brother, Jacob, of who we come is Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That is who the promises were made to. Look like I'm being disturbed here. Just a moment. 